Hi guys, this is just a really quick tutorial. Um, more showing you how the Earth Display works. If you downloaded that app for your iPad or iPhone, um, so basically it's really easy to install. Uh, once you go into the app, it tells you the steps that you need to do in order to make it work with your iMac or MacBook Pro. So you go to a website that it says there, download it. Once you install the program, um, which you will see right here. It's going to make your laptop restart or your iMac. And right here, you're going to see the air display. All right. There, you can turn it on or off. All right. And then you choose what device. So, iPad. All right. Um, so, this is basically another screen for you, for, um, for you to handle. So, right now I set it up. So, if I move this, you're going to see it pop up in my... There we go. So right now it's right there in the iPad. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just gonna move the iPad closer to you guys. So when I move the um, Safari close to the iPad, in the iPad. So this is basically a secondary screen. Um, if you have an iMac, you don't really need it. Um, if you have a MacBook Pro, like 13 inch, you may want it. So I can see myself with this if I had an, a MacBook Pro, especially a 13 inch. The screen's way too small, so I may need, need another screen. And if you have um, iPad, might as well do it, right? So that's pretty much how it works. It works pretty good. It's not the fastest thing in the world. This iPad One. It's not the iPad Two. All right. Um, and this is uh, with Lion right now, so it works perfectly fine with Lion. If you wanted to use it like a tablet, um, you can. I opened that up. I opened up Photoshop already, and I tried to draw on this. But when you draw, you're drawing with your fingers once again, so it's it's okay, but it's just too slow. So I wouldn't recommend it to use it like a tablet. If you want to use it like a tablet, just download whatever apps there there are for tablet for drawing just on your iPad. I know it's low resolution, but it's gonna be faster drawing than with uh, in Photoshop. But you can use it like that. Um, so basically, it's just a secondary screen. You can put any any um, anything on it. Um, if you open up Word or if you open up I don't know, let's just open up Photoshop make you guys see that so you open up Photoshop um, and actually my yeah my PSD opened up here not in the main screen so you can actually use your finger too all right to move this or you can click anywhere you move the mouse here all right um, just gonna move with the mouse so this is right now in my iPad. I'm gonna put it into my iMac. So there you go. Um, so it could be useful. Depends. Um, if you want to watch movie here while working here, once again you can download uh, Justin TV, or I suggest another one that's a bit better. It has um, a lot of HD quality movies, which is called uh, Beetle with a V. So download that if you want. Um, if you don't have a jailbreak iPhone or iPad, uh, yeah, I would pay max for this app three dollars. I wouldn't pay for it more. If it's more than that, only if you have a MacBook Pro, I would buy it, or else no. So that's how it looks. It works pretty good. Um, I do recommend it, especially if you have a jailbroken iPhone or jailbroken iPad. Thank you for watching.